Hi friends, my name is Ace and welcome to Ace Creates. Today we are going to talk about all things Clover Amore hooks and whether you need them as part of your journey and what my first impressions were when I added them um, to my collection. I went and bought the 10 piece Clover Amore hooks that range from two millimeter to six millimeter. And I also have started to slowly add in the larger hooks that are for the hook sizes that are above six millimeters. So I have a few in my collection. I don't have them all. I generally will take advantage of sales opportunities with Joann's to um, add them to my collection. And I only add them as needed for certain projects. The 10 piece Clover More Hook set can seem like a very steep investment when you're um, a beginning crocheter or just in general. Um, it can be very steep. It's generally over $80 for the 10 piece set. But my suggestion to you is to never buy it at full price. Always look for a deal. I waited for uh, Joanne to have the 10 piece set back in stock and I used either a 40 or 50% um, off one regular price coupon to bring the total under $40 for the set. And that is when I think you should purchase it and add it. Otherwise, your beginning hooks are just fine and can do the job fine. But as I'll show you shortly, um, it is definitely a better hook for you and can make your projects easier depending on the yarn you're working with. So let's get into that. So these are the Clover Amore crochet hooks. There's a 10 piece set all along with um, several that for larger crochet hooks above six millimeters. So the 10 piece set comes with crochet hooks from two and a quarter to six millimeters while the plastic hooks are for above six millimeters and start at six and a half. The one I have in the photo are seven millimeter, nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and 15 millimeter. I am missing the six and a half and eight as part of my set. I wanted to quickly show you um, on the left in the purple handle is the clover hook. On the right in the blue handle is one of my beginning crochet hooks. And I just kind of wanted to show you the size difference between perhaps what you might pick up as one of your big beginning hooks and then the clover. I found that my beginning hooks were much heavier than the clover. So that's really one pro to the clover hooks. The clover hook has a flat uh, thumb rest with the barrel rounded. At first I thought that might uh, be uncomfortable, but it was really comfortable. The head is a lot smoother than my beginning crochet hook. So as you'll see in the next video shot, um, there is definitely a difference between the heads of the clover hook versus um, say any other type of beginning crochet hook that you might get off of Amazon or wherever you got your hooks. So in this shot, I wanted to show you my beginning crochet hook and so you can see how the yarn is gripping on the aluminum hook. Um, it made it almost impossible to use with this yarn. Now, I haven't found the case for all yarn, but as you'll see in a few moments, the difference between the beginning crochet hook and the clover hook, I was able to use the clover hook for this project, whereas the beginning crochet hook that I had picked up is made this project almost impossible. And so that's where you can definitely see where the clover crochet hook has um, a much smoother finish at, on the aluminum head, which makes uh, working your project a lot faster.
as you can see, I switched over to the Clover or More Hook, and you can see just how much more easily it glides through this yarn. Um, this yarn is the Hobie Universe yarn, and it is a number one fingering weight yarn, and so it was so much smoother pulling and gliding through each stitch. And so I don't think I could have ever have done this piece without the Clover Amore hooks. So I am so glad that I did end up purchasing the hooks. And I definitely think it is something worth considering um, when you are building out your um, pieces, your yarn and your tools. Here I wanted to show you an example of the plastic larger um, crochet hooks from Clover Amore and compare them against my beginner's crochet hooks. So this is one of my beginner's crochet hooks in a um, nine millimeter um, hook. As you can see, I am having difficulties just with the way the head is shaped. Um, in pulling the yarn through um, smoothly and so um, that is definitely I didn't honestly notice those things before I got the clover hooks but now that I've gotten the clover or more hooks I can definitely tell the difference and see how how much longer some of the more beginner crochet hooks could make my projects versus using a tool like the clover or more hooks um, but I'm also going to show you how much easier the hooks glide with the clover hooks. As you can see, I'm having a much easier time with the clover more hooks. And the hook is just gliding through my yarn. I will say that it likely does have something to do with the yarn. Um, so it just depends on the yarn and the project that you're working on. But this really made things much smoother and it really goes to show you with the right tools how quickly you can get your work done if you have them. It just glides right through. The head is shaped a lot, uh, doesn't have any rigid um, edges from the mold and so it just makes the yarn go through pretty quickly. As you can see, I'm going to show you quickly here the difference between the two. Um, the beginning crochet hook is just a whole lot more heavier than the Clover and More hook. The Clover and More hook almost weighs nothing. And so, again, um, you can go a lot longer in doing your crocheting if you use the right tools. Um, it just makes things easier. So here you can see the difference in the head styles. And see how the aluminum hook has uh, ridges. Um, it's a round cylinder where it tapers off, but you can definitely see where the yarn gets caught versus the clover hook where it is just one smooth piece and it makes it really easy for your yarn to glide right through. I think the Clover More hooks are definitely worth the price, especially if you can get it for 40 or 50% off. Start slow, perhaps get one of the larger hooks or dive into the 10 piece set, depending on the projects that you're working on. But I definitely think it's worth the investment. I have found that it has made a lot of my projects a lot easier, especially the larger hooks. Um, it's a lot smoother um, for some of the yarns, so definitely worth the investment. Thanks so much for joining me today for our video on Clover or More hooks. If you like the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on another video. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.